Are you tired of those pesky Mongols and Malians getting the leg up on you in the early game if you're playing as the Abbasid? Well, fear no longer. We've got the strategy for you. A nice Dark Age Abbasid Spearman Rush will put them right in their place. So this is a game where I use this strategy, but I want to talk through it. We had some, uh, some of our viewers in Twitch asking about it, and it's a strategy I like to use, particularly against Malians and Mongols, because you're going to have a primary target for those spearmen in the dark age and a lot of times they're not expecting to meet any resistance from you so i'll show you how this kind of works out here so uh the very first thing you're going to do is uh put your villagers on sheep and you just want to pull off two villagers to wood and then you pull one of the sheep villas to, to build the barracks and then one to build the house the reason why i put two on wood is spearmen cost 20 wood okay so you want to be basically turning in wood in increments of, of 20 so you can keep that uh, production going. Now, I do let off on this production eventually, but I'll let this play out here. So I take all my villagers, I click food, you know, I get my, my villager queued up, and then I pull one off to build the barracks, and I'll pull one of these to build a house as well, keeping these two on wood. So I'll have the 20 wood that I need. You could even, if you really wanted to get nitpicky, you could put one on wood for the... Uh, well, I don't think you do. I think you need to start with two in order to have the 20 right when this is completed. So we got 20 right now. I was going to say you could technically maybe get away with just delaying a little bit. But look at this. At 37 seconds, we've queued up our first spearman. You could potentially put like another food villager, build it with two villagers if you want to do it faster. But this is plenty fast, okay? Once you've built that, all these villagers are back on food. Okay, so you just keep these 20 on wood. The rest are all on food from there. And then the first thing I did is I ran straight across the map and found my target. In this case, I was very lucky. It's a forward gold spawn, which it happens a lot of time. This is uh, on high view. And I know what I'm going to attack. I'm going to go for this pit mine. Now, um, if it's behind their base, it's going to be a little bit harder to pull this off, certainly. So I might make... I might not invest into too many spearmen if I think like I scouted and like oh, I, I just don't think it's going to go well. I'll stop and just you know cut my losses. Now it's going to lay your age up time a little bit, obviously, but it's not going to be too bad. You can even go up against you know Mongols if they're producing like double you know spearmen. You're going to have two spearmen ready to meet them, and you could at least get them chasing your spearmen around the map instead of sitting here at your base poking your gold vills, poking you know tower rushing you so it'll pretty much stop them for the most part um so they're going to start burning down the pit mine i like to target the pit mine because houses are low value to build back i like to go for this which usually gets them to build a bring a villager down and you can go poke the villager and have a little fun game at the very least it's like idle seconds for them okay from this macro uh so far i have trained up uh i think it's three spearmen yeah i've got three spearmen so far and I eventually am going to put one more on wood, and I did it right here, and I'm actually now idling my uh, my barracks because you want to start saving up because you want to get 100 wood to drop down a house of wisdom and to get a mining camp. So you see just now, I'm hopping through the town center, I actually stay on the straggler trees, uh, and I'm going to start using, with when you have three on wood, you'll start to save up to have what you need for uh, the to get 100 wood. See what I'm doing right now? I've got one going to gold. We've got nine on food right now, and now we're ready pretty much to transition into the next age. So I've got four spearmen on the map. Being annoying, and you can see it's almost finished. You know, that could be a pit mine. Where's an Uvu? If you get really lucky against Mongols, they're open with the stable, and then they really uh, are going to be unhappy when you show up with spearmen. Sometimes I'll do against Ottomans too, just to like run their spearmen around the map. Uh, maybe even you can go and start poking at their stone, like because you want to try to delay the t their timing for getting up those military schools so i'm going to collect exactly i actually had to get another 50 wood because i was about to be housed here too so this is essentially the strategy in a nutshell and i'm going to give this a little turbo here so now i can drop down my house of wisdom there you go i'm going to going to build it in just a second and i'm pretty much going to have the resources to age up here there we go and once that gets done i'm going to age up around the four minute mark is i'm going to click up and i highly recommend if you're going to do this i mean it is a it's a gamble like any rushes are in the dark age but i like to, to age up with the military wing because that's going to spawn you with two spearmen and two archers and then you know if you already got four spearmen out on the field you can upgrade them you got six spearmen and two archers starting out in the feudal age like sure they've aged up and what do you think they've made here right because you've opened with spearmen 
they're likely, the second they get the next age, going to slap down archery range. That's exactly what's going on here. In this case, I don't want Malian's opening with a stable and immediately bringing warrior scouts over to my base, right? I want him to be distracted in his base with archers, which is perfectly fine. Like, he's chasing me around. I Look how many houses I'm able to kill in addition to that pit mine. So that's some pretty good uh, value against Malian's. And the idea is, like, to take the pressure off of you, and now you want to... Uh, really apply a little bit of pressure. You're gonna have some archers, you're gonna have some spearmen, and then you can start dropping down whatever army composition you want. Now, you can still go for additional town center. You can start, you can feign aggression, get them pinned in their base, thinking you're really going for an all in, and then, you know, throw some villagers on stone and drop down a town center. Now, it's not gonna be a discount necessarily. I think in this case, actually, uh, I end up getting boot camp rather early on here, which of course is gonna be a 15% buff to my infantry. But uh, this is a strategy I've been really having a lot of fun with. This is a game of me beating a, you know, a higher ranked Conqueror player. And you know if you're playing somewhere below Conqueror, it's probably going to get catch them by even more surprise because people just really aren't expecting Abs to do something like this. And I really got this inspiration from, uh, I saw GUA give you anxiety doing this in a tournament on the pit. He was doing this first Mongols and having some really good success with it. So I started doing it. And what I would recommend is go into a skirmish game and just practice those first like 30 seconds, getting that first spearman in queue and how you want to uh, macro with your villagers because you want to tinker around with that. So anyways, guys, that's the basically the Abyssid Dark Age Spearman Rush. Let me know if you've got any suggestions for how we could possibly approve upon it or if you've got other fun ideas for things to do. Of course, this is likely going to change a little bit in the next season because we've got the next season coming out dropping in three weeks, but I don't think they're changing any of the Dark Age for Abyssid. So this should, for the most part, play out the same. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.